Niambi knows about the importance of missionary work. After all, the missionaries were the first to teach him about the gospel. His parents weren't LDS, so it took courage and faith for Niambi to accept the gospel of Jesus Christ. When the missionaries taught me, I could feel in my heart that what they were saying was true. In 2005, I was baptized. Two years later, I decided to serve a mission. Because he was the oldest son and his father wasn't a member, Niambi didn't have an example at home to follow. He wasn't sure what he needed to do to prepare for a mission. Fortunately, he had a loving bishop who helped him understand what would be expected of him. I was called to serve in Ghana Cape Coast Mission. I was so excited to tell my parents. I thought they would be happy like my bishop was. Sadly, my parents were not excited. They weren't latter-day saint, but they did believe in God. My father called me in his bedroom and double-locked the door behind us. He said, you are leaving school and giving up your internship for a mission, and he doesn't even pay salary, I will no longer be your father. Somehow, I felt calm, and a voice kept saying to me, your father loves you deeply. I felt like I should ask my dad if he knew that God lives and loves his children. He said yes, so I said to him, as sure as God lives, I'll go on mission and I will always be your son. Moving forward with faith in every footstep, Niambi left for his two-year mission. Upon completing his first year, he was reassigned to a new area. He flew from Lome to Abidjan. When he arrived at the airport, he was surprised to see his father and two of his brothers. I could hardly believe it. My father had me and said, my son, you are always welcome. Thank you for showing such courage. That's when I realized that it's the Lord who reassured me by saying, your father loves you deeply. Niambi has long completed his mission and currently serving as a bishop in his ward. In Ivory Coast, he feels so blessed to have had the opportunity to serve a mission. My mission has really blessed my life. Now I can say that I'm a better father, a better leader of the church, and also a better husband for my wife. One of the things that the mission teaches me is the time management. It teaches me how to manage well my time, and also how to be focused on this, let's say, specific things that can help each of us to be close to our Lord Jesus Christ. He teach me also how to help people to be more faithful and to follow the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah, the decision to serve a mission was not easy for me when I decided to go on mission. But fortunately, my bishop at this time was a very good man. And also the state president, who after became my mission present here in Abidjan. My bishop some of the time calls me and advised me how to maybe overcome some of the challenges that I was facing, like uh, the challenge with my father who wanted me to continue my studies and then uh, also uh, go ahead and find a work to help the family and still going on mission. To the parents, my advice is that they should have uh, confidence on their children. It will help them to be what the Lord wants them to be, not what we as a parent will want them to be. Just like the Lord gave the discipline warriors courage and prepared a way, I know He prepared a way for me to serve a mission. It took many miracles, and with God, all things are possible. I'm a better person, a better father, a better husband now because I've served a mission. It laid the foundation 
for my family life. A life that's centered on the gospel of Jesus Christ. I wouldn't have it any other way.